His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Sghir Palace yesterday the Ambassador of the United States to the Kingdom of Bahrain Justin Sibral who presented to His Majesty the King the members of the American community in the Kingdom. His Majesty the King greeted the American community.
Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Your Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa, King of the Kingdom of Bahrain, Your Highnesses, Excellencies, Distinguished Guests. This reception of His Majesty the King to the American community in Bahrain underscores the outstanding and ever-growing historic Bahraini-U.S. relations thanks to mutual keenness to foster them and serve common interests. On this occasion, a speech by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, King of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Your Excellency Ambassador, honored guest, it is a great pleasure to meet you all today. I have always had great affection and admiration for the USA, the land of the free and the home of the brave. As President Truman once said, America was built on courage and on imagination. It is a nation founded by pioneers. And we are delighted you have continued that tradition by coming to live in Bahrain. Thank you for bringing your talents to our country. We are deeply grateful for the part you are playing in the prosperity of Bahrain. And we welcome you here most warmly. Today we celebrate the deep and special bond between our nations. The evidence of that friendship is all around us. From the hundreds of American businesses operating in Bahrain to the mighty Fifth Fleet stationed in our waters. And there can be no greater symbol of our friendship than the American mission hospital. Over a century ago, an intrepid young American named Samuel Zwimmer traveled from New Jersey to Arabia with a noble mission in his heart. The medical dispensary he opened in Manama became a hospital that has saved countless lives. This hospital is a testament to American generosity of spirit and a reminder of what we have in common. Here in Bahrain, we have a hospital founded by a Christian mission alongside mosques and churches, synagogues, and temples. In the USA, people of all faith come to live the American dream. We may be different nations, but we are united by this proud tradition of tolerance. Together, we share the dream of a world where we can all live alongside each other in peace and prosperity. I want to thank you once again for once helping to make this dream a reality and for your friendship and commitment to Bahrain. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now I would like to invite His Excellency Justin Hicks Sibiral, the United States Ambassador to Bahrain, for his speech. Your Majesty, the Ambassador of the Royal United Highness, States then presented Highness, His Majesty the King Minister with a commemorative gift. Allow me on behalf of my fellow Americans here today to begin by thanking you for your gracious hospitality in hosting us. It is a singular honor for each of us to be here and we are all aware of the symbolism 
this audience assumes in representing the long history of friendship and partnership between the United States and Bahrain. Together with me is an assemblage of Americans from across our community, representing a range and diversity of vocations and activities that mirrors the depth and complexity of our broader relationship. With me are 175 of my fellow Americans living in Bahrain. Out of a community, Your Majesty, we estimate at roughly 17,000. In other words, if you'd like to see all of us, we'll need to repeat this event every day for the next 100 days. With you today, Your Majesty, are doctors and engineers, sailors and pilots, teachers, students, pastors, athletes, chefs, and entrepreneurs. Like Americans everywhere, we get involved in our community. And many of us are active in Bahraini society as, as volunteers or members of community organizations, clubs, and societies. In Bahrain, we have found a new community, a new home. Americans in Bahrain strive to play a positive role here and deeply appreciate the gracious hospitality, openness, and kindness of the Bahraini people. Through the individuals here today, we can trace the trajectory and history of the American presence in Bahrain. And thanks to Your Majesty's generosity, we have been able to include a number of special guests from the United States who embody the span of our more than 100-year history together. As Your Majesty has observed, our friendship began with the arrival of a group of remarkable and selfless individuals who founded the American mission. The first of those great Americans was Samuel Zwamer, who set up the medical dispensary in Manama Souk, which grew into the American Mission Hospital. His wife, Anne, was a nurse who cared for patients and opened a school for girls in the back room of their apartment above the medical dispensary. That school lives on today as Al Raja School, still one of Bahrain's finest. Anne and Samuel Zwamer had two children in Bahrain. Ruth and Katharina passed tragically within days of one another in, the 19, in 1904 during a cholera epidemic. Both are buried in the cemetery in Old Manama. The Zwamers literally gave all they had to their life of service in Bahrain. With us is Mr. Ken Neville, the grandnephew of Samuel and Ann Zwamer, who traveled to be here from the state of Michigan. He continues to be involved with the Reformed Church in America, the organization for, organization for whom the Zwamers were associated. Thank you for coming back to Bahrain, Ken, for this event. Among the legions of wonderful individuals associated with the American Mission Hospital, perhaps no one has been as beloved as the legendary Dr. Harold Storm. With his trademark black bag, Dr. Storm traveled throughout Bahrain and the Gulf region delivering care for more than 30 years. And he left us memorable accounts of his travels. With us, Your Majesty, is his son, Robert, along with his daughter and grandchild, three generations of storms. Of course, another pillar of our bilateral relationship has been our mutual commitment to the security of this vital region. Bahrain has hosted the United States Navy for more than 70 years. In that time, generations of sailors and their families have enjoyed some of the best years of their lives through the generous hospitality and friendship of the Bahraini government and people. Today, the U.S. Navy, Naval Forces Central Command and the U.S. Navy's Fifth Fleet are based in Bahrain, and they stand at the very center of our strong security partnership. We have a number of officers and enlisted men and women from NAVCENT with us today, led, of course, by Admiral Chris Aquilino and his wife, Laura, whose tour, as Your Majesty is aware, concludes in just a few days. We are also honored, therefore, to have the incoming commander of the Fifth Fleet, Vice Admiral Scott Sterney and his wife, Shelley, with us. But to mark this occasion for all it represents, we brought a third admiral, the founding commander of Fifth Fleet and the first commander of NAVCENT, Admiral Scott Redd and his wife Donna, who lived in Bahrain between 1994 and 1996. We are delighted to have you with us. Your Majesty, we know that Bahrain's engagement with the United States Armed Forces has not been limited to the U.S. Navy. Indeed, we are aware of Your Majesty's own experience at the U.S. Army Command and General Staff College in Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. There was a, and we know that it was a particularly meaningful uh, experience that shaped your views of the openness and fundamental goodness of the American people. We wanted to honor your association with Fort Leavenworth today, and to do so, we had the great fortune to find one of your classmates, General Henry Drufs, who, along with his wife Sharon, has come to Bahrain to be with us. We are quite certain the general has some stories to tell, but perhaps those are best left for later. One of the strongest connections Bahrain and America share is through